Jim from County Corvette. I have a 1967 Chevy C10 custom built truck. I don't even know where to start with this thing. This was a customer's vehicle, came in for some service. Uh, he has a few of these custom trucks. We went through it. I believe we did a gear change in it. And I'm just gonna do a quick summary of it. This was an original California truck and it was restored by, by a guy out in California, I believe. I have his info in there. I don't remember it off the top of my head. He did a great job on this thing too, by the way. Uh, I have all the photos of, uh, of the process of this thing being built. And it was really well done. I can say the workmanship on this thing was, was really quite professional. And it's a pretty basic, uh, a pretty basic cruiser. Now it's, it's got, you know, power disc brakes all around. It is tubbed with a, I believe it's a 12 bolt Chevy with an Eaton 373 Posi rear. It has Willwood brakes and, you know, all, all the good stuff. Dakota digital uh, gauges. It's a 454 with a turbo or with a, with a 700 R4 trans. That's an, it's an overdrive trans. And, you know, it's been done probably 10 years. So it's fully sorted. And like I said, we, we went over this thing uh, for, for the prior owner, did uh, several thousand dollars worth of maintenance work on it and some other changes. And I've got a stack of receipts for this thing that's, you know, just really quite impressive. Uh, I'm not even going to go through all these and, and it's, it's just it's too extensive everything that was done on this thing every part in here is documented in here i can tell you that this build is 100 to 125 thousand dollars if you can find a really nice clean body like like this one was which is the way to go because you can sink a ton of money into it but overall it's 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 well done it's got nicer gaps than than stock you know it's not eighth inch all around but it's 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 pretty well done Body works nice on it. As I said, it was done 10 years ago, so it's held together beautifully. It's a nice cruise. It runs and drives great. It, 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 it runs really strong. It has airbags um, in the back. They are um, manual uh, air. So what that means is it's not a, a, an onboard compressor in there. You've got to actually uh, you know, pressurize each, each individual shock in the back there. But that's okay, you set the ride height where it's at. As you see its stance now, this, it runs and drives at this stance, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got uh, Riddler custom wheels on it. They're, they're not, not inexpensive wheels. So again, you know, build quality is as good as uh, you, you know, you're gonna find on a truck like this. Okay, under the hood, as I said, is this uh, 454. This is all nice and cleanly done under here. You know, very uncluttered. No, obviously there's a lot of space and there's not a lot going on. As I said, it's simply a heating system in here, uh, defroster type type arrangement stock setup. Uh, this would be a very easy candidate to, to add uh, vintage air if, if you so desired. I can promise you the, this engine has enough to work. Really cleanly uh, done in here. The firewall is nicely done and uh, you know, the 10 year old. When it was originally done, it was done with a small block and then this, this big block was added sometime later. Uh, with, with that 700 R4. So that was an upgrade done, I think about four or five years ago. But this thing's dialed in, it runs great, and uh, let's get you out on the road for road test. All right, so let this thing warm up a little bit. Now this thing's showing 84, 70 miles on it. I, I don't know if that's the mileage that this thing's had since it was done. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna guess something in that range I, I, it sure doesn't look like it was driven that much i mean 8500 miles is a lot of driving on a, on a custom truck like this so there's always some things that you know are not not known uh you know when we get inventory like this i asked the uh, prior owner and he i don't think he put a thousand miles on this truck It's got a little high shift point. I mean, I'm nursing in here, going down the road. I'm, I'm getting to know this truck for the first time, so I'm not, uh, I'm not hammering it. But it does, uh, it does drive nice and straight. 
And it's easy to drive too, by the way. Now I'm not going to call this thing a go fast truck. Like I, I, I don't think you're going to want to do quarter mile runs in it. Um, it was built nicely, built right, and it's got a lot of good stuff on it. But you know, don't confuse it for you know a race a race truck. Because that's not what it is. It's a cruiser. But I'll tell you what, it goes down the road nice. Track's really nice and straight. This is a cool truck. It's got a decent head unit in here. Nothing too exotic as far as the sound system. It's, it's, it's good, but nothing, nothing too crazy. The brakes work nice on this thing. Stops nice and straight. Gets a lot of attention too. It's a cool pastel color. All right. We'll make a little U-turn here and give it a little love. See how it runs out. I'm not going to go crazy with it. All right. Here we go. You know, that's about three quarters throttle. And that's this thing runs great. So, I like the way this thing tracks. It's really a smooth running vehicle. And it's got some wide tires in the back too. But it goes over uh, bumps nicely here and uh, tracks really well. I I'm actually surprised how well it tracks with, with the stance on it and the width of the rear tires and the front tires for that matter so this is a cool truck like i said if you're in the market check this thing out you're you're not going to do any better out there and this is a this is a truck you'll be able to trust just jump in it and drive it take it to home depot you know do your thing hey thanks for watching i enjoyed making this video it's been a little while since i made one over the holidays here it's a nice day in pennsylvania and just a good day to go for a cruise. I might drive this thing a little bit more. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. And if there's anything you guys see out there that are uh, out there wish to see, you let us know. We'll make you a special video. We're happy to do it. Thanks for watching.